Today, we are going to train your English voice with present perfect. We use the present perfect to speak about an action in the past that has a result now. Okay? So we use have or has plus past participle. Now remember that we use have when we talk about I, we, they, or you. We use has when we talk about she, he, or it. Now, have a look at how we can use go in different ways. We can use it in the past tense as gone when the subject is there now. We use been as the past tense of go when the subject is here. So gone, the subject is there, been, the subject is here. Have a look at an example. Tom is not here. He has gone home. Okay, now Tom is the subject. We are using he, so we use has and now the past participle is gone because he is there now okay he is at home sentence two i am so tired i have been to gym the subject is i so we use have and we are using the past participle been because we are here now. I've already been to the gym. I am now here. I am not still there at the gym. I'm here. Let's have a look at another example. She has gone to buy pizza. The subject is she, so we use has, and the past participle is gone because she is there now, probably at the pizza place. She's not here, she's there, she's buying a pizza. Another example is we have been to America. The subject is we, so we use have, and we use the past participle been because we are back at home now. We are here. Now let's have a look at another sentence structure. Using have or has, depending on the subject, plus just, already, or yet, plus past participle. Let's have a look at the meaning of each word. Just. Just means a short time ago. Already means something happened before now. And yet means nothing has happened until now, but something is expected negative sentences and questions. Let's have a look at some examples. Sentence 1. Tom isn't hungry. He has just eaten. So he's not hungry because he has just eaten a short time ago. The word just tells us that. Sentence 2. I have already paid for his lunch. So paid 
It already happened. Something happened before now. So it happened in the past that I paid for lunch. Sentence three. He hasn't eaten it yet. So yet implies that it hasn't happened, but we are expecting it to happen. Excellent job with present perfect. Well done. Goodbye.